Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post a new tutorial every Wednesday to help sewers of all skill levels learn new projects and techniques. This week I'm showing how to make this reversible bowl cozy. Now this pattern and project were sent to me by a lovely lady named Leslie and she even sent these perfect bowls to fit into the bowl cozies which I thought was so, so sweet. I did an unboxing video showing everything that she sent that I'll actually um, link down below so you can see everything there. Um, but if you like this project, definitely hit the like button down below and leave a comment thanking Leslie for her kindness for sharing her pattern with us. To make the reversible bowl cozies, you will need two different fabrics fusible fleece and thread. I'll be showing how to draw out the pattern in just a moment, but I did want to mention that these particular bowl cozies are not microwavable safe because they are not made out of 100% natural fibers. Um, they are just to put your already hot food into um, so that it is easy to carry around and not um, burn your little fingers. To make the pattern, draw out a square that is 10 and a half by 10 and a half inches. Mark a line down the center in each direction. Then mark two inches in on each center line and two inches on either side. Connect the marks two inches from each center line with the center mark to form a triangle. Then use a small circular item to round the corners. I'll have a graphic of this with the measurements listed over on my website. The direct link to the post will be down below in the description box. Cut around the outside of the pattern and the curved corners. Cut a piece from each of your fabrics and two pieces of the interfacing. Match them up with the textured side of the interfacing against the back side of the fabric and iron to fuse them together. Use your pattern to cut one piece from each fused set. I like using a rotary cutter for this, but you can definitely use scissors if you feel more comfortable. Cut one of the triangle sections out of your pattern piece. Use it to mark the triangle openings on all four sides of each piece. Fold the piece in half and sew along the marked line. This will form the darts to shape the cozy to the bowl. After sewing the first two darts, fold in half the other direction and sew the remaining two darts. Repeat these same steps for the other piece. Trim off the seam allowances down to about one quarter inch. Turn one piece right sides out and place in the other so the right sides are together. Add clips along the top edge to hold them together. Sew around the top with a quarter inch seam allowance. Leave an opening for turning everything through later. Trim down the seam allowance at the top of the darts to remove bulk. Then turn everything right sides out through the opening. Smooth all the edges out around the seams, then turn in the edges of the opening, keeping it as smooth of a curve as possible clip to hold things in place. Sew a top stitch all the way around to close up the opening. You can be done there or sew some additional top stitching from one side to the other to quilt the layers together.
since the cozy is reversible you can definitely use two different really fun fabrics to make it a really interesting project Since I actually have strep throat right now, Jeremiah made dinner and I got to use my bowl cozy right away. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be giving this project a try. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking my picture right down there if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials because I love sharing sewing projects that are easy to understand by anyone of any skill level. And until next time, happy sewing.